Okay, this is gonna be an update video of my acorn planting that I did earlier in the year, the white oaks. In the backyard, I gathered a bunch of acorns and I put them in these pots that you see right here. And I put some in the garden behind me. And a couple of people have asked me, hey, what's happened to those acorns that you planted? So I'm gonna switch the camera around and we're gonna take a walk and I'm gonna show you how those acorns turned out. They were doing really well. I put the acorns in all these pots and they were there for a couple weeks. They started sprouting. You could see the uh, the tap root coming out of the acorn and going down into the pots. And I came home from work one day. Let me find one of these pots and show you what happened. So I came home from work one day and this would be what it looked like. We had a nice pot here. And when I came home, all you saw was a hole with no acorns. So what happened, I think blue jays a bunch of blue jays found those acorns sitting on top of all those pots and just came one after another and just pulled those acorns out of those pots and ate them all. It was either that or squirrels, but I don't think it was squirrels because I had the pots very close to the house, right up on the deck. So I think it was, I think blue jays just decimated. So it was a lesson learned when you use these pots, you got to put some kind of a, a a cover over them i should have put some kind of a screen or a mesh over top of these pots or had them in some site of some sort of enclosure to where the critters couldn't get to them because they just ate every stinking one out of these pots so that was useless but we did put some in the garden now the ones in the garden we had them all spread out all through this garden if you remember if you watched that video and again something found them Groundhogs, rabbits, squirrels, birds decimated them here too. But a couple survived. And that's what you see here in these cages. And I'm going to zoom up so you can see here. So I put cages around them. I put stakes and cages around the ones that actually survived. And they, oh, you can see one here that still has its leaves. So that one right there still has its leaves and it's in a nice cage, nice and sturdy. This one right here, let me get behind it. They've all dropped their leaves so far. So this this is the, the tree here, and it's about 12 inches high, and it's surviving, it's going dormant for the winter. So it's the first year as a seedling. So in the spring, I'm gonna dig them up and transplant them. We got a couple here. Now these ones aren't as big. It depends on if they were in the shade or the sun, how they turned out. This one's probably only four inches, but it's very sturdy, a thick stem. This one's a little thinner, a little more wobbly. What do we got here? This one's tiny. This one's only a few inches, uh, maybe four inches. And down here in this corner, there was a really good one down in this corner, but it figures it's growing in a terrible spot. I don't even know if I'll be able to dig this one up. If you can see here, see how he's growing out by the wall and he's curving, trying to get the sun. But we've got another one here. Good. And then here we've got like, I think two of them in here. A small one here. And another one here. And then in this back corner, there's one in that corner there. So, the acorns that would have worked if I would have covered them. But I'm probably going to have, let's see, I don't know, maybe 10 little trees from, from the original tree that I'll be able to plant in the springtime. So we've got 10 out of all those acorns. And the lesson learned from me is to cover them when you do that because they... They, they tore them apart. They, they took off with all my acorns. So that's what happened. So the next time I do it, and I am going to do it again, as soon as I, if, if they have acorns on that tray next year, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to gather them and I'm going to put them all in these pots and I'm going to put screen over top of them. I might even make a, a box and put them inside of a screen little enclosure out of two by fours with wrapped in screen or something. And leave it that way and another thing i've learned which didn't happen to me but you can't leave these pots out here just like this i'm here in pennsylvania and what happens is in the springtime if that acorn starts growing a tree 
if it actually starts growing as soon as winter time comes that those pots are going to freeze and your your tree your little seedling will freeze to death so you, if you put them in these pots you got to have them in some sort of a greenhouse or i'd have to get a load of mulch and put two feet of mulch all around these pots i'll probably put them in a big square and just put mulch all over top of them make a big mound of mulch so they don't freeze if i just leave them back here in the back like this and then uh after they get a year or two take them out of there and then after they get big after they get a couple years of growth you'll see all those roots growing out of those pots like that but you just got to keep them from freezing so maybe in the future you'll see on one of my videos a greenhouse i really think uh it's time for me to get a greenhouse because as much stuff i do with plants and trees and i'm constantly transplanting things uh, i really need a greenhouse where we park all these spare cars this would be a perfect area for it right here in this area so i might have to pull these spare cars out of here and uh that would fit a, a really nice size greenhouse right there and just run some heat into it and and then everything will be safe but I'll show you what I do to them in the spring. It'll be their second year. And I don't want their roots to grow very deep in my garden. So we do have to get them out of the garden. This was just for them to get started. These are the survivors. They got lucky. These few little acorns really got lucky. They didn't get, get killed. So they're going to be our special trees. And uh, we'll find a nice home for them. So inside the house here, we have some of our Arizona oak trees, the Mexican blue oaks, and look at these suckers. Look at this. Now, of course, because I'm in Pennsylvania and these are a warmer climate tree, they won't live outside in the cold. So we actually brought, I bring in these inside. So they are inside every year in these pots. This is, this is my best one right here. From the from the pot to the top of the tree is almost four feet so it's almost four feet tall with a really nice trunk this is the second best one here it's got a nice round shape to it and I have been trimming it but it doesn't have a nice top to it I'm gonna have to get this thing to straighten up to get it to grow straight but they're my two best ones inside the house I got my little grow lights that just this clamp on in this spot here and I got the color the color lights too some people say that the different colors the blues and purples help also so they got a mix of lights inside the house for the winter this middle one it's a little shabby but I brought it inside to try to make to keep an eye on it I brought this one inside to try to keep an eye on it a little bit better and my other ones were out in the garage, which I'll show you. But if you watch the other videos, it's been a while since I think these things are four or five years old now. Um, so that's a four or five year old tree right there. If you watch the other videos, you see how I started them and I brought home acorns from Arizona and actually planted them in water bottles, little plastic water bottles, and then transplanted them. And that's what it looks like now to this day. So. That one is a beautiful looking tree. Let's let's go out to the garage and I'll show you the other ones. Okay, you saw the oak trees that are in the house. Here's the other ones that are in the garage. I just got a couple left. They're slowly dying. The good ones are inside the house and these are the ones that I'm not too sure if they're going to make it. Same thing. They're still about four or five years old. I forget when I actually did plant them, but uh, this is what they look like. You can see that somehow they slowly one of the stems on them die and then it tries to grow and grow a new stem so they, they try to survive you can see that one there how it's dead in the middle then new ones grow on the sides that one's not too bad i don't like the way it's shaped like a like a split trunk like that and it does have some dead growth that's got to get cut off this one's like a bush you can't even hardly see this thing in here it's kind of bushy this one's not too bad I'm actually thinking about bringing this one in the house cut off this dead part here and let's see if I can get a good angle on it for you to see because it's nice and tall and it does have this main this main trunk on it right here 
which is pretty good. It's pretty tall. I can work with that. So this one, this one might be a possibility. But that's all that's left out of all those I planted. They're just slowly dying off. I don't know why. Because they get beautiful new growth on it. That one looks like it has some nice new leaves on it there that have grown. But I have to pull them in in the wintertime because they are a warmer weather plant. There's no way they would survive here as cold as it is in the winter. So that's the that's the oak trees, the Mexican blue oak from Arizona. So I couldn't take it. I brought that one in from the garage here. This is it right here. I think this long stem right here, I can turn into a nice straight trunk. But this got some dead growth right here. And I don't want this part on the left here to become the tree. So we're just going to trim this right off. So we'll try to force this to become the main tree right here. And I'm going to trim off some of this other stuff too. On this one, especially the smaller one right here. This is the one that was in the middle. Like it's got a dead branch right here. Take that off. Some dead right there. So that's it for the update for the oak trees, the outdoor white oaks and the indoor, indoor outdoor Arizona oak trees. Thanks for watching.